three teams have won this year's Defence Technology Prize for military innovations. One of them was behind Singapore's newest urban training facility, while another winner used precision engineering in guided systems technology. The prize also went to a first-of-its-kind system that uses AI and data analytics to improve military decision-making. Noah Kong with more. An eight-year journey to create a simulated dense urban town, giving soldiers a realistic training space. The Safti City Urban Training Facility team says meeting the Army's various needs amid land and cost constraints was no easy feat. Safti City is the, one of the most well-instrumented facilities and well-integrated facilities engineering-wise. Uh, and then that leads to be able to giving realistic training for the SAF. We put in tr instrumentation, we put in training systems, we put in the engineering that brings it to life, not just one part of the facility, the entire facility. More than 8,000 soldiers have trained in the facility to date. Defence Minister Chan Chun Singh commended the Safti City team's ability in combining ready-made and custom solutions. He added that speed is now critical in developing defence technology. Today we are likely to see rapid iterations of multiple generations of technology within our orbit. This brings both challenges and opportunities. Instead of looking for the perfect solution for a static target, we are looking for a series of dynamic solutions that are always one step ahead of the challenge. That is the first thing that we have to change. Mr Chan urged the community to take long-term perspectives, citing the prize-winning DSO's Guided Systems team, which worked with him over 20 years ago. People investment is also key, with the DSTA-led team building on decades of work to be awarded for its AI-powered decision-making system.